Knight wants to do. We're going to, uh, all right, really small stage in Smashville, really emphasizing that these two characters just want to get in, get it, get their damage, and then, like, you know, try to try to make you explode. So, like, a close quarter stage like Smashville is really going to enable that. <laughs> combos are, combos are turning around back and forth, one hit to each and every way. Oh, Raptor goes. Damage seems like it's. They both seem to have gotten like their same amount of openings, but Falcon's damage is is proving to be the difference maker. Just up, his up air strings mattering a whole lot more. But that it's not a dead oh, Falcon. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Maybe. that. Yeah, Meta Main probably could have uh, punished the high recovery made with a like ledge, like jump from ledge, back air. I might have been able to catch it, but doesn't quite get it and. Honestly, that was your chance. Like, you were down a percentage, you had a chance to give Falcon, you kind of missed it. And now, you're giving Falcon the chance to, like, uh, get the stock on you. And Go Go earned his chance, but Nair not quite working how he drew it up. That's Future Air looking for the tech roll read. With plenty of these reset potentials on, on these platforms, and Falcon's kind of the, the king of resets. As a lot of his combos don't last for super long, but he has the speed to cover a whole lot of tech situations. Falco is at his... not Falco. Falcon is at his best when his opponent is lying on the floor. Yeah, not only that, but like, Falcon also forces a lot of like, jump, or uh, allows the player to get a lot of reads on if they're gonna double jump, or if they're gonna air dodge down. Especially when like, he combos you off stage. Ooh, a very, like a full hop tomahawk there, or empty hop, excuse me, which, wow, I'm surprised that didn't kill. Yeah, even that up smash. <laughs> even at that low percent. Is, yeah, but that up smash is like kind of infamous for having a really big hitbox. It's really good at scooping you up. Say it with me, everybody. Safe on whiff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it's similar to, to Meta Knight's own F Smash, but it's it's got a it's got quite the scoop. Oh my goodness! Uh, Meta Knight's. He's oh dead. my goodness! Wow! I, I didn't think if, expect that to go like that. I think if he had one, because he ledge hopped, he uh, he only had two instead of the full three jumps. Okay, he's looking for the tech situation, but his down the back end of down smash was a little bit too slow. Right, neutral air out of shield. He's got to get this edge guard soon. But letting Falcon come back to stage over and over and over again. That should do it. No jump. Oh no, you got it. You got to go out there and hit Please. him. <laughs> Please, bro. Yeah, there you go, like that. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Mm. Like that's that's potentially two stocks that you're throwing away there, or that you're leaving on the table. And while the game is even right now, it's it the game could have been over. Yeah, if, if Metame had gotten that first edge guard, he would have gotten into the. It would have been three stocks to two in his favor at the beginning of the game. Yeah, so we can. I mean, it's a perfect example of not just. Like how good Meta Knight is at setting up edge guard situations, but just how susceptible Falcon is to these uh, to these edge guards. Because I mean, there's potential on a great job of mixing up his recoveries and maintain. And his own combo routes have been super good, but Meta Man has made each one of these encounters last. It's a really solid early upbeat. Call out, yo. That was high. How do you call that out? That's... Like, he could have dimensional kicked anywhere. <laughs> and you knew exactly where he was going to be. The Amazing only... read. Oh, that's... I mean, it's a, re... it's... it's a read pure and pure and simple. He knows. In the same way that Sir Hunk knew early game that Meta Main was never going to just... 
like dimensional cape and hit him. He was always going to dimensional cape and try and get to center or try and get to platform. And where he was positioned, up smash still hit that Smashville platform. So it was, despite it being a immensely, immensely hard read, it covered more than one dimensional cape angle. Of course, it, you know, it was a, it was a read first and foremost. So that's all it was covering. But the the thought was there, which I appreciate. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's a good read. Like, yeah, you can hard call it one option, but if the move you're using to call it out can also cover something else, like that's just that's just gravy on, on top of your decision. Good no, coverage man. is always a great thing to have. Oh, absolutely. And Falcon's got plenty of it. A lot of his moves are pretty, or a lot of his upward moves. That up air and up tilt can be pretty tall. Of course, up smash. Like all these moves are pretty, pretty big. Pretty big when he wants them to be. We gotta see Meta Main. We have to see Meta Main shore up a lot of his edge guarding because while he had, he caught a lot of uh, of the goat's jumps or a lot of his early up bees, but he would never finish and that's part of the game being able to finish is just as important as setting up those oh. original edge guards but man that's a that's a combo that's lasted through the times like actually yeah that that works in melee it works in this game i don't know about brawl <laughs> but it worked, it worked in smash 4 yeah although you could tech rounded spikes but if you missed that tech you were getting you're eating the new yeah. Oh, we went for it again. Man. Being able to attack grounded spikes. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah. Although I kinda I kinda like the not being able to attack it just because of the combo potential it brings. Yeah, but it's that one change that made that changed P uh, not being able to attack grounded spikes is if you see finishes yes, okay. Finish the edge guard there, very important. Yeah, I gotta finish your food. Not being able to tech grounded spikes transformed Peach from a high tier in Smash 4 to a top tier in Smash Ultimate. Because now is down tilt is an absolute, like, confirmed, gonna mess you up move instead of being a knowledge check. Yeah, but. Anyway, let's. Okay. Good up from uh, the GOAT being able to get back on the stage, past those jabs. Oh my goodness. If, if he had comboed the knee off of that weird trade, that's, that would have been crazy. That was, that was Nair 1. That's the, the original knee combo before uh, before the Falcon buffs and before like IDJ stuff. Like I, Nair 1 into stuff was, was the king of early Falcon meta. Uh, back? Oh, barely he, missing that. He oh went my for goodness. the back. Okay, okay, it's fine. Everyone's fine. Relax. <laughs> Everyone made it back. Okay. Which is insane because both of them should be dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I mean, yeah, but he's behind him, so he can't get any. He'll only get the back air there, which, if he was alive, he's no longer alive. Falcon Kick is so strong. <laughs> What, what did you say about Smash earlier? Safe, safe on whiff. Safe on whiff. Say it with me, yeah. chat. Safe on whiff. <laughs> See, the move looked plus on whiff. He was able to throw out another move 